I've been lucky enough that Tastemade's given me their studios all to myself. So I'm in the Brooklyn kitchen in LA, and I've eaten at every taco truck out there. One of my favorite dishes is ceviche. I'm putting a little Thai style, Southeast Asian style spin on the traditional ceviche. So here it is. Get ready, because everything's going in the same bowl, and then we're plating up. One long red chili, de-seeded and finely diced. Two tablespoons of coriander stem, which has been finely chopped. Half a tablespoon of finely chopped ginger. Two tablespoons of fish sauce. A quarter of a cup of coconut milk. Two tablespoons of finely diced eschalots. And lastly, the coconut flesh. And now in this bowl, we've got the juice of two limes and two lemons. That's our acidic part. That's what's actually gonna cook our fish at the end of the day. So in we go. As I mentioned before, I love ceviche. When I was in Mexico, one of my fondest memories was cooking ceviche on the beach. If you haven't seen that, get on the channel and check out our Mexican episodes. So you're probably wondering how our coconut flesh got to this stage. We started with a whole coconut, we whacked the top off, it goes everywhere, emptied out the water, split the coconut in half, scooped out the flesh, and then sliced it into a fine dice. In it goes. So now we're going to fold this through. And there's one thing that a ceviche can't do without, and it's seafood. So, fridge. So here, I've got 200 grams of mahi-mahi or dolphin fish. All you want to use is a firm white flesh fish. Back home, we use snapper or kingfish. I think bass was another good one from here. So I've just finely, finely sliced it, and that's going to cure in our liquid. So now believe it or not, the acid in the lemon and the lime juice is going to cure that fish, essentially cook that fish. So we need to put that aside in the fridge for 20 minutes. Okay, so this is the exciting part, because it's actually cooked the fish over that 20 minute period. You might be able to see it's turned from that sort of darkish pink colour to an opaque white colour. And that's exactly what we want. It's time to plate up. So I find a nice dark plate is best for this. It brings out the colour in that fish. And now we're just going to layer our fish on our plate. The first dish that I ever made to get on MasterChef was actually a ceviche. It was nothing like this, but it ended up doing the job and got me through to the next round. So now I just want to take this beautiful liquid and spoon some over the top. We want to really flood the plate. It's so tasty, it's so yummy. People will be mopping this up for sure. Last but not least, we're just gonna grab some cress of any type and just roughly scatter that around the plate. This is just a, for a bit of color and a bit of texture. I've taken the traditional ceviche and put my Southeast Asian spin on it. If you love what you see, cook it, cook it, cook it at home. It's super easy, you won't look back. And big ups to the Tastemade crew for letting me run free in their studios today.